Greetings from Just Car People Things. Mike here tonight. We are working on our 2004 Toyota Tundra, and uh, we've just done our first teardown uh, car wash of it. We did a full kind of strip on it. We uh, even used a little Dawn on it to try to pull off any wax or any remnants of whatever the previous owner had uh, left in the vehicle. And uh, we did a little uh, creative... Uh, Changing of things in here and managed to stuff both uh, both fun sports cars over here on this side of the garage and now we've got this full bay to work on uh, on the Tundra. So we do have some uh, some paint on order to be able to touch up a lot of these stone chips. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to uh, probably sand those out a little bit, wet sand them, try to make this look a little bit back closer to normal. Then we're going to come in and we're going to try to fix a lot of the underlying scratches, squirrel, swore marks, and uh, just overall degradation you see on a 20, uh, 20 plus year old pickup truck. You know, we've got some bird dropping damage. This is a dark color. Dark colors tend to eat the sun a little bit more and uh, you've got a little oxidation going on the clear here. Uh, all that good stuff. But uh, tonight I've got the uh, the doors open here and one thing I've just noticed broadly is uh, you know this is an older vehicle and uh, it needs a little bit of love. So the uh, the previous owner was diligent about keeping it clean. Certainly uh, vacuumed regularly. Uh, did a nice job of you know, keeping the interior overall not too bad, especially for something by later in its life, it was a little bit of a work truck. I just spent some time uh, on this seat belt. I've got a, a four to one mix here of, uh, uh, I believe it's a Chemical Guys uh, fabric cleaner product, kind of automotive carpet and fabric cleaner. Uh, and you can see I've been working on uh, some of this, this section of the, uh, the belt here and a little bit down. And you can sort of see the difference as you get further down in the areas that I haven't gotten to yet. And the areas we've we've sort of done already, so you can see the the shift there. You know, you've got a lot of dirt embedded in this, a lot of contaminants embedded in that, just from you know years of years use. People putting it on, they get in the truck, they've been working in the yard, they're hauling lumber, whatever they're doing with a pickup truck, and uh, you just you get dirt. That's how it goes. So uh, this section up here, we've kind of thoroughly soaked this down. It's still a little damp, but basically what you do is you come in and. Uh, you know, really essentially just soak this, soak the belt itself down with the, with the product. And uh, you come in and rub it really thoroughly, kind of try to agitate it using this. And just this little spot, you can see this right here, this one little spot we're working on right now. You can already see this was a clean microfiber, already see the dirt that's coming off that kind of the grime. Um, so you do this a few times, you kind of work you know, work the seat belt and uh, work that product into the belt itself and you can start pulling off. Look at that. So you're finding these little pockets of just dirt uh, just over time. And so uh, not a problem to fix, really easy to fix, but uh, there you go. You know, I've, I've noticed too a little bit, my guess is, <clears throat> is that this uh, cloth interior that you're looking at right here has never really been fully detailed in the traditional sense. And probably the best example that I can find is right here on the uh, the center console. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll drop the seat a little further back. Look at that, nice recline on that. Uh, and you can see, you know, what once was gray, like a light gray, like kind of over here, maybe up here a little bit, is now pretty dark. Uh, that's now a pretty dark color. You've worn a lot of the velour off. And so that's something you also see over time. You know, your elbow is gonna be resting on this and you can even hear how that sounds different than that. There's there's kind of no no fuzz left on that. And one thing we may do, might not be a bad idea, is uh, actually to remove this and recover it. Um, that's certainly something to think about. So you got this plastic panel on here. You got six screws, seven, eight screws. Toyotas are pretty straightforward. There's no downside to unbolting this and recovering it. If you want to use a fabric adhesive and come in and recover it and try to, you know, this is not fixable. Right, there's no fiber, and uh, let me see if I can show you guys here with the light. There's no fiber left on that. So you look down here, and you got a really velour, kind of comfortable, easy touch, nice pleasant surface touch. You look up here, high touch area, someone that's elbows resting on that every day, gone, gone, gone. So uh, let me grab a better light, and uh, at minimum we're gonna just try to clean this up a little bit. So one of the things I keep here in the garage uh, up, and I've got uh, two of them, there's one on the other side too, these are magnetic lights from Costco, uh, and they're battery powered, and they've got three settings, and they tell you how much charge they have left, and uh, they're really handy. And uh, the nice thing about them is, if you're working on the car and the frame underneath, you can just clank it right to it. If you've uh, got a you know place to hang it, they've got little hangers on them. 
kind of a cool product. Uh, the pair of them, I think, was like 39 bucks. Um, and 20 bucks each. They last a long time. They've been really reliable. You can kind of tip them up and set them like this. But one thing I like is if I'm ever doing work like this in a car, I can come in and I can just set that right there. And bam, we have a really well-lit workspace. Uh, and sometimes you can even, if you find metal parts in the car, say that seatbelt latch, for example, you can hang that right on there. And, uh, or that uh, door latch, you can hang that right on there. And now look how nice we've got a well-lit space. And this, uh, this you know, battery, if I set it down to kind of one of its lower settings, uh, it'll easily last a couple hours, which is really nice. But first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna just come in. We've already tested this on uh, other materials in the car. And uh, you know, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking we might actually go to the extractor on this. So uh, always use, whenever you use a new product in a vehicle, always find a spot on it, you know, maybe down here in the front of the seat or maybe on one of the seat backs or maybe uh, the back of one of the other, you know, headrests or something like that. Something real inconspicuous, test this product first. You never know how color fast old material is really gonna be. And if you start really wrenching on it and you come away and you're looking at it and you're going, that looks really gray and you realize the seat's really white, it's not really going to be fixable. You're going to be buying seat covers. So the first thing I'll do, I've already tested this for color fast, is I'm just going to put a light coat on, on kind of that space. And I don't want to soak it, soak it, but I kind of want to saturate it at a certain level just to really get in. And uh, the guy that we bought this from had had a really nice hound dog. Uh, and you can see a little evidence of that actually right there. There's uh, some uh, what looks like some snout fur off a hound dog. So what we've done there, and you see this, is uh, we this is a pretty foaming product and it's kind of how it lifts. But you'll come in and you'll basically just work this product until you get a good lather, right? And so sometimes you need a little more, especially along the edges to get a good lather in this. And this is, you know, also gonna partially help clean it. And you can see just, uh, you know, how quick that even comes clean. But what I like to do is come in, get a good lather going with it. You can actually use your hand. You can use a detailing brush, uh, depending on the fibers and kind of how the fabric works. But you can actually even see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see how kind of dingy what's coming out of this is, right? And that's oils from people's skin, that's fiber transfer, that's dirt, that's just 20 years of just never really being cleaned like you or I being probably detailing nuts. Really clean it. We're just gonna, you know, kind of agitate it all up. Uh, I often use my hand for this. I know that sounds crazy to say that, but now you're gonna come in. We've got a, a relatively clean microfiber, so I'm gonna use the back side of the microfiber. It's a little more abrasive. Uh, a little fuzz there, but it's a little more abrasive. And uh, I'm just gonna come in with my hand and then just do the same thing with my hand now. Same exact motion, kind of a rotating motion. Come through and just see what you pull off on that first Oh, this is going to be bad, guys. This is going to be ugly. We might actually want to go get the extractor on this. But this is this is the cheapy solution. This is a solution if I just got a pack of Costco microfibers and I got a little carpet cleaner. But yeah, there's 20 years of, uh, of dirt and grime and love right there just in that one panel. So what I'll often do now is I'll take a second pass. I'll move my hand from that corner to this corner and just do the same exact thing I just did really thorough rub down. And I can tell you too, this already smells better. I know that sounds silly to say that, but you're never gonna get this clean the way you want it because there's no fiber left there. You can kind of see that. If I move my head around a little bit, but you just work at stuff. You just kind of get into the seams. You can use your finger, but uh, yeah, this is already getting really soiled too. But this is good. This is what um, you know makes that older car smell new again. But uh, yeah, so here's the second pass. So when you compare those, first pass a little rougher, more dirt. Second pass a little more concentrated. I'm using kind of more direct pressure in certain spots. So what I'll do now is I'll roll that over. I'm gonna hit it again. And uh, you know, you're gonna use a fair amount of this product. You, you don't have to be shy with it. It doesn't do damage. It smells good. And I think just getting in there, and I want to get down into this edge too, because this is where people uh, rub against this, especially that tip right there on this. This is where people bump into this product, right? Or this uh, material in the vehicle. This is where you're making kind of human contact with it. And I can already see 
just even using kind of my fingernail to agitate that, that this is looking a little grimy. So uh, I think we're gonna have to come through here. Now we're coming back with the clean side again. We're hitting it one more time. So kind of make two passes all together. And then we're gonna let it air dry. So what I'm gonna do tonight is uh, I've got the interior lights off in the vehicle. I'm gonna leave the probably all the windows down in it and uh, maybe even leave a door open. Try to get a little airflow in here, try to dry this. So again, coming down here, this is an area that wasn't really hit before. And uh, see, this is not as bad. So we're just coming through, second pass, agitating again. I tend to find you get a little more foam on that second run. And we're rocking the whole truck here. Don't, don't laugh when I say that, but I'm using a fair amount of force uh, to press down on this and kind of expel this product, you know, this cleaner product from the actual, actual foam. So here we are moving on to uh, kind of our last clean chunk of this microfiber, this side right here. And just coming through and giving it a good wipe down, trying to pick up as much of that product that's now lifted the dirt out uh, from this uh, seat, this seat rest as possible, just this little armrest. And just to give you an idea on scale here, I mean, this is, this is the cup holders. So this is not a big piece of turf, right? This is probably 16 inches long, maybe 12 inches wide. And just from that little bit, this started off as a yellow microfiber, not too yellow anymore. So we're gonna keep at it a little bit. Just thought I would share that with you, show you all the cool stuff we're working on here on our 2004 Tundra, just car people things. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you guys maybe liking and subscribing. Uh, we're gonna keep at it here. Maybe do a few more interior detailing videos as we work on some of this other stuff. Thanks for tuning in.